than that, you are somebody. Because God don't make no jokes. You're not going to win the church. I know you're going to fall. You look at one of these people saying that I'm from Russia. I'm from Russia. They ask you how to work this question. What nationality are you? This man has the king of Richard's And his skin, I'm not going to And he said, well, I really don't know. Uh, I have some Swedish blood in me. I have some German blood in me. I mean, Jewish in me. And my mother's a Taiwanese. And my father is black. So, uh, okay. So it's bad. You know, you look at your genes. You look at the pigmentation of your skin. And you look in the face in the mirror. And it's going to tell you who you are. But we're not worried about just the nationality. Because God don't judge pain on the opposite of people. Am I right about it? God, look on the inside. Remind me what Jesus said in the Bible. He said, I to go and to the village. There you'll see a coat. You'll see a donkey and a coat there. Unloose them and bring them to you. And if anyone asks you, well, why are you doing this? Tell them that the master have me of them. What I like about those two disciples, they didn't say it was such a low job. Uh, we should give that to someone else. Come on up. They was obedient. They went on with being asked. Hey, what you what what you guys doing? They said, my master, tell me. Christ was getting ready to do something that was never performed. Never was disappointed. God had tried the uh Leviticus priesthood. Come on now. They may fail him. Come on now. He tries in my opposite. Mm -hmm. King Saul, David, and Saul, and many other kings that they failed him. Yes. Then he tried the prophets. Come on now. They failed him. God sent out his angel. Said, I want to take a survey. Look beneath the earth. Come on now. See if anyone qualified to do this great test. There was none. Then he said, since in the earth, see if there's maybe someone found. There was no one. Then he said, look into the heaven. There was no one found. My Bible teaches me that the lamb from the tongue of the altar crawled out. The heaven I lost. I'll go down to redeem man from his bones. I'll go down because if I don't go, humanity will be lost. Jesus was prepared to make a sacrifice that no one else could make for him. Even in his humanity form, he began to question himself. Uh, Father, I want you to remove this yes. Then he reminds his divine self mm -hmm. that you came to do your father's will, yes. not your will. Mm -hmm. Then he would begin to say, nevertheless, not that my will, but that will. Yes. All right? Yes. None that the scales of humanity weighs in the balance of hell, of hell. Then he began to go look straight fast towards Jerusalem. They began to cut down branches, That's right. lay them down for king. All they branches and palm. That's what we call palm sign. But on this particular day, it wasn't just for that. That was a holiday, the Passover. That when God had brought Israel out of bondage. Of the Egyptian hands That's right. Go ahead, bro. for many hundreds of years mm -hmm. and set them free. Mm -hmm. The task that they had to go through. Yeah. Matter of fact, he told all the Hebrew families, slay a lamb. Yeah. And I want to put the blood up on the right. Come on now. Of your king. Yeah. 
Yes. And when my death angel comes yes. out, yes. he will pass over you. Yes. I'm out to bring down the Egyptian empire. I'm down, I'm tired of Pharaoh. All right. I've been sending people, sending you many, many times down, trying to bargain with you. Mm -hmm. But it's time for me to make a godly move now. Come on, now. I'm going to slay every other son of the Egyptian. And they will let me go. After he went on and did what he had to do, the last time Pharaoh brought his son and he was dead. Then he said, you've got to let these people go. And I'm asking, I'm, you know, when God relieved you, and we must remind that many of the people who went down there by Joseph, when the tribes came down, they died out. And then they had got stopped worshiping this God. That was God sent Moses down and said, I want you to tell them that I am sent you. And he said, well, what do you mean by I am sent me? Say, I am who I want to be, what I want to be, as much as I want to be. I am the almighty God. All right? The maker and creator of both heaven and earth. Yeah. I am he who said high and look low. Yeah. Tell him to let my people go. So Jesus had all this memories in his mind when he was going on great as Moses was, meek as Moses was, Joshua and all the other leaders that come, they weren't able to do this task. Only Jesus, standing strong in his faith, began to amount the dungeon. And they began to run in front of him, praising and singing out loud, Hosanna, our king is coming. Oh, everybody's with you when you're doing all right. And you're going to deliver them. They're all around you. As long as you're doing good. And they were behind him, preaching on, telling the world that our king is coming. But one thing, Jesus wasn't on these warriors here. He didn't come with the soul. He came gentle. He came with the spirit of honor. He came with the spirit of sacrifice. He came with the spirit of love. Greater love that no man in it. That a man shall lay down his life. And if I lay down, I also got the power of the Lord. Men are not 
standing strong in the faith. Women are not standing strong in the faith. We let the government come into our home. Tell us how to run our family. That's what we got to do. I can't beat your kids. You're not allowed to listen to your kids. They can put you in jail because we accept their system. We don't have to accept their system. We obey the law to a degree, but this is your home. These are your children. And no one or two people is going to raise you. All right? Where we come from, those who came from down south, they say to take a community, they start the whole community. And if I was out there doing something wrong, and somebody thought, then hey, there be nobody on my hand. If they put a whipping on me, I would I pray that they didn't call home. We don't obey God. We don't God. You we obey man rather than God. Huh? God forbid. And the Bible says so. All right. God says spare not the rod. God says train up a child. Don't let go all in his heart. Don't let them go in the throat. We let them get out here and carry God. We let them walk up and down in our house and tell us what to do. Uh, huh? Don't worry about these social programs and all that. They're doing everything to bring us down. Yeah. You many black folks receiving degrees. Yeah. So now they got all type of uh, exam and testing. And they tighten up on the money. Yeah. Yeah. Even they have our young kids in school, my grandkids there, one is in the fourth and one is in the sixth. They got to take exam to go to the next grade. So they know how to slow you down. When I was born to school, man, they had money flowing everywhere. I beg a lot of brothers and sisters, come on and get on into college and get this down. Red, I'm going to wait a while. I'll go later on. A lot of times, the change and opportunity. All right? But see, I believe in standing strong in the faith. The Spirit told me you better go on and take advantage of this, really, because this will be available all the way. And we look at today where we are. We look at today where our children are. Shooting and killing and playing and having us a friend to walk the street. We who supposed to be the parents. Yeah, huh? God didn't set the children to lead us. A child will lead us, but not in the sense. He got to bring them up right. Try to beat them when they get 10 and 12, they'll beat you. Bring them up the way they're supposed to go. Jesus saw all these things. It didn't stop that. He said, I must go on because I'm on mission. Not on my own account, but I'm on a mission of my Father who sent me. And I must open it. And I must do his will. What I always did, we had to do. And you know on there, you got your religion leaders. And I said, some of them religious poets in the world. Come on! Prosperity. Uh -huh. Nothing wrong with prosperity. Amen. But it's more than money that makes you prosper. Can I get a money? Yeah. 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 You can be prosper in love. Prosper in taking care of your heart. Prosper in raising your kids. Prosper on your job.
had to go on because there was no one else to do. Amen. He had to go all the way. And by doing so, he was already strong in his faith. He took off his doubt in his crown. He taken off the road. He had all that in heaven. Yes, yes, yes. And when he finished up, he told his father, my job is done. Yeah. Glorify me with the glory of heaven. Oh, yeah. the yeah. Yeah. Because in the beginning, I made the world. Yeah. Um, I stepped out of nowhere and put it somewhere. I am the God that stepped on eternity to eternity. All right? And I am still God today. And the only way man is going to reach eternity is through my sacrifice. Because no man will take my life. But I will lay it down. And if I lay it down, I also got the power to get it up. All right? And he demands that you stand strong in the faith. Be real men and be real women. Then we need to organize and start to get them these fans that doesn't let the kids do anything. Bring them in and start telling you all need to get in church. You know what we talk about? We let the six come up in the store. Everybody got psychedelic. I was better out Uh, I had to go out there for something, so I rolled back, had all tied up, nice three piece suit, tied. The professor saw me and they didn't believe it. So, uh, it's not a time at all about doing what they want. They didn't want to wear these challenges. You can become a man. And remember what Christ is saying. Whatever we do, stand strong in the faith. Give God the glory. Give him the honor. Because he's a lot of Praise God. This is Pastor Watkins from Community Revival and Outreach Ministries. I trust that you enjoyed that wonderful service we just uh, had. And I trust the Lord that it touched your heart and your spirit. And it also inspired your soul. But beyond just listening to a message, we also ask you to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. And how you do that, you just simply ask and bow before Christ. And if you're willing to lay hands upon your TV or bow your heads right where you are or sitting, if you just bow your head with me and we'll pray the prayer of faith. Heavenly Father, we truly thank you for all things in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That you forgive us of all our sins and have mercy upon our soul. And that not only you save us, O oh Lord, from our sins, but, O oh Lord, that you would sanctify our hearts and sanctify our souls as well as, O oh Lord, baptize us with the Holy Ghost and that with fire. We accept you, O oh Lord, into our hearts and our life. We confess our sins and we believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that God raised him from the dead. And by believing and accepting this, O oh Lord, we claim to be saved in his holy name. We give thanks and praise for all things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I trust the Lord that your heart is fixed with the Lord and that your blessing will be assured and that you'll come out and fellowship with us. And if not with us, your, your own local church in your area and that God will be a blessing to you until we see you again. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.